drones being used by Ukrainian forces in their battle against the Russian invasion of their country. This conflict has seen the use of drones as weapons, be they in the air or at sea, grow exponentially. Small airborne ones use GPS or radio frequencies to guide them in, but remotely operated boats like this one need connectivity, in short, the internet. That's where Starlink's been invaluable for Ukraine. But what is it? Well, Starlink's best described as a satellite internet constellation. 4,000 small satellites in low Earth orbit. They talk to ground stations like this one. They're called gateways and basically link the satellites in the sky with the end user's dish. It's highly effective, but as reported, it appears it can be turned off at will. Can it? There can be restrictions on the terms of service and, of course, there are abilities in the back end to restrict delivery of service potentially to certain addresses, to certain locations, particularly with the satellites, of course, it's very, because I mean, they know where they are um, and the operators know where they are, otherwise the system wouldn't work. So it's comparatively easy, of course, to be able to say, right, deny service to either these this group of users, to this geographical area. And of course, a system like this, to some extent, has to have that built in. The Telstar is set aloft from Cape Canaveral. This is the first ever man-made communication satellite, Telstar, launched back in 1962. It set the pattern for what we know satellites to be in high Earth orbit. They're extremely effective at sending communications around the world, but are expensive and their bandwidth is limited. Starlink orbits much lower and by sheer numbers has huge bandwidth and availability. Ukraine's been making use of it extensively, but the man in charge of Starlink, Elon Musk, has warned in the past that he doesn't want the system to be used for long-range offensive strikes. If the system was denied to the Ukrainians at the instructions of Elon Musk, it raises serious questions about whether the military can rely on private business for communications. So militaries are very hard at how they can operate uh, using commercial systems, but with resilience, you know, with that assurance that actually if the commercial provider does not like um, the military campaign you might be embarked on or something like that, they can't suddenly deny your backbone of services, because obviously that's a critical failure. So. The US government, for example, you know, it looks very closely at Starlink. Um, it's helped fund parts of it uh, and I believe has its own sort of ring fenced part of Starlink, which is resilient. The conflict in Ukraine has shown how drone warfare is now a vital part of the battle space. Yet for the future, decisions need to be made about just who can influence their use. Tim Cooper, Forces News. Thanks for watching. For more from Forces News, like and subscribe to our channel.